Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And while that other video is still loading, that I just bid a name and a, a name inside of an initial, I thought I would add to it. And on my Facebook page, Corel Draw File Share, under Files, I have a deal called Squiggles that I, a friend of mine gave me years and years ago. And here, here's all of them. There's four pages of Squiggles. So if you want those squiggles, you can go get them. And my suggestion is if you're going to use them uh, because they're four pages, let's just say if you wanted to use this one right here, you'd have to go to group and ungroup it and then grab it and right click and make sure I got it all. Right click and copy and then go back to your where you're working and then right click and paste. And then you don't have to worry about those multiple pages. Uh, I never work with multiple pages, but they could, they could cause you trouble printing or whatever, but that's beside the point. But I thought I'd show you how to use the squiggles and there's a lot of them and uh, I was just playing around with them. Some of them are a little bit difficult to use because they're they're not perfect and they're not welded together uh, to do this correctly. And I thought I'd just go through a few steps where you could do it and you need to break it apart. Whenever you can't collect, select something with the shape tool, it's because it's, uh, it's grouped together with some other items. But you could grab all these nodes and just move them down Matter of fact, you could remove those nodes and make it a little smoother. Move this node up, this node up. Now, once you got them all done like that, sometimes you can weld it and sometimes you can't. So you go to weld and weld. In this particular case, it worked. Uh, we're missing one right there, I can see. But just take your virtual segment delete key and delete that. A couple more. And everything else looks good except for right here and see it wasn't touching is what we were doing earlier. So take your nodes and just put it past the line and then you can use the virtual segment delete tool on that. And then I would always smart fill it. One, you make sure you have the leaks gone, but let's nudge this out of the way or move it out of the way. And now I'm going to left click, right click. So now we have a squiggle, but let's say you want to go further than that. And I would also, some of these squiggles aren't very good. Some of them are excellent. If you have X7 and above, you can get the shape of the smoothing tool. You just ever so slightly just go through here and take a lot of the roughness out. I took out a little bit too much, but you can always back up. So now we're going to control D and make a duplicate of that guy. While holding down the control button, we're going to flip it that away. We're going to change our nudge factor to 0 0.125, grab our new one. Whoop, I didn't realize how little we were. Let's go 0 0.02 and nudge it over a little bit. And you can go, you know, to wherever you think it needs to be, and then you could weld that together. So now you have a completely different squiggle than you had before. So what do you do with a squiggle? Well, one, they could divide pages. I don't know how that happened. You, they can divide pages of text, but you can use them for what I just did on the last video. You know, you could use part of them or all of them. And so in the, instead of this one putting an initial in, I'm just going to put a name in. And I would like to work in the center of the page, and I'll show you why. So I'm going to grab all that and hit P, put it in the center of the page. I was relatively close. What that did, it centered up my bar. So now I'm going to grab my bar, holding down the control button, and just get it till it almost touches everything, and then weld it. Control D and make a duplicate. And I'm holding down the control button, and then let, let go. I didn't let go quick enough. 
holding down the control button, then let go. Then you can grab it again and start moving and hold down the control button. That way it won't let you move left or right. We need to get our name kind of situated where we want it. And then we can move this down, holding down the control button. And you can look at that and spend a lot of time um, centering it. Um, let's move that down just a hair more. Maybe move this down like a hair more. And then just grab it all and weld it. It's that easy. And as always, like the last video, I would left click. Left click, right click, and make it a hairline, and then that way everything's, you sure everything's not broken up. Anyway, that's a pretty cool way to do things. And so go to my Facebook page, get you a squig or two. Um, well, there's four pages, so you can find one you like. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.